Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So Ethereum continues to be at this tipping point here, this decision point that we talked about uh, or have been talking about for many weeks, this 3,412 US dollar level. This is a highly relevant level. Above the level, it gets more likely that we can, you know, you could even say the low is potentially in if Ethereum bre breaks that level. Personally, I'm still skeptical if this is the case because the structure looks very much three wave like. So you have your wave A, B and wave C. And that wave C here could take us into the region between $3,900 and $4,650. So it is basically the same scenario that is now my primary scenario for Bitcoin as well, where we can say we are going to go into this region and then there is a good chance that the price is turning around and we're going to get once more into the target area down here. It's a bit different to Bitcoin because Bitcoin obviously has not uh, reached my target area down here. So meaning it hasn't mean it hasn't made a lower low and it has not uh, completed the correction technically, in my opinion. Therefore, for Bitcoin, there is a really, really good chance. And um, that is actually my primary scenario for Bitcoin that we now go up first into this region here. There is a similar region on the Bitcoin chart before we turn around. So of course, it makes sense to adopt this scenario for Ethereum as well. And for many altcoins as well, I would expect the same that we go higher and then come down once more. That is anyway expected. The question is for altcoins as well, do we make a lower low or do we just make a higher low? If we make a higher low, then we have to say the low was already in for Ethereum. This could be the case because Ethereum did reach my target area down here. And this was the target area that we defined in November. And that was the area where we said that the price is going to turn around with a high probability. At the moment, it looks very much corrective for me, that pattern here, um, three waves, A, B, C, um, which doesn't mean we couldn't possibly get a five wave structure out of this, depending on how it looks. And if this is the case, yeah, if we get a proper, five wave structure, an impulse to the upside, and we break the $3,412 level, then we could also um, make the decision that the low was already in. But um, it's a bit too early still to say that. Nevertheless, this was here my buying area. We talked about that even a little bit higher. So all of that is looking very good. And we're now at this decision point. So what is happening at this decision point? I think we are moving here on this ascending trend line further up. So it's a very important level or a very important trend line. And you know, ride the trend until the end. So you stay above the trend line, the chances are getting higher and higher that you actually are going to break this level. You can see how the buyers and the sellers were fighting or still are fighting around this $3,412 level. You're slightly above it, you come below it, you're above it, below it, and so on. So highly, highly relevant and um, it is consolidating at the moment. If we go to the, or even if I go to the one hour chart, we might see it even better. Um, you can see very clearly that what we have developing here is a bit of a triangle. Yeah, so a consolidation pattern, yeah. And there are different ways of, of drawing it. But the key point is that you're moving here into an apex and at any point now, today possibly, we're gonna see here a breakout of that pattern Typically, because we are in an uptrend here and we have a consolidation pattern like this, you could call it a trend continuation pattern. And that would take us ideally, and just by taking here the height of the triangle, the breakout target, if we break to the upside, which in this context can actually be expected, we could be moving all the way up to 3,600 and to the downside that could take us down to that previous near that previous low here. So around 3,200 US dollars. Um, because it is a trend continuation pattern, typically we can expect the price to break higher. So as soon as you see a breakout of that pattern, I think higher levels are possible, especially because at the same period or the same time, you will break out of that 3,412 US dollar level. So as soon as you see the triangle break to the upside, which would be around a little bit higher than 3,412, so maybe 3,430, then we can expect higher prices. But 
What I always like to wait for is a candle close. So basically, if you break it, it could be a fake out. So what you typically do, you typically wait for a candle close, ideally on the four hour chart, even better on the daily. But if you wait for the daily, it could already be gone 10%. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much what we're looking here. So that could be a decision today. And as I said, as long as we are above this ascending trend line, it's all good. Of course, we could drop at any point below the trend line. And then I think that immediate uptrend is over for, for, um, yeah, for a moment at least. And we might get a retest of the previous high. That could be here, that $3,200 level. And that could also happen when we break out of that triangle to the, um, to the downside. So I think that is very interesting what's happening here. That's what I'm looking out for. And we can see here on the four hour chart, obviously the momentum is decreasing. So that's not a good sign. But if on the four hour, um, this is now turning around where well, we can't see it yet. But as soon as you see this turn around and then you might actually, that might push the price higher. So let's see how the one hour is looking like. Now on the one hour also um, sideways, just, just sideways movement on the MACD. But on the four hour, if you see that negative momentum start to decrease, then this could give the price a push to the upside as it did back here, end of March, when we started to see the negative momentum decrease, we continued to climb higher on this ascending trend line. Now, this could happen at any point in time today. We have dropped now for the last few days in momentum and um, you know it can't continue forever like that. So if you see that turnaround, that could also be a good indication that the price is continuing to climb higher. So you can see we reached obviously here nearly $3,500. And since then we've had a small consolidation. So the price could not hold above that critical level of $3,412. And the price of, um, of Ethereum has been fighting around this level now for the last few days. So it could really get to an end maybe today and it will be very interesting to see the outcome here on this channel. You are of course prepared for both scenarios. The message here is, I mean, be prepared for further downside as well. It is not, we are not through the woods yet. Yeah, we still have a good potential, good chance that we come once more lower into the blue target area. This is not overcome yet, but the breakout above $3,412 level uh, is a first step to move higher and also move to new all time highs. But my primary scenario is still that we are going to turn around at some point in here. And the reason for that is um, that yeah, Bitcoin obviously hasn't finished the correction yet. So Bitcoin can with a high probability turn around as well. Now for Ethereum, this could just mean in another move down, it could just mean we're making a higher low because Ethereum has um, reached the target area down there already. It doesn't need to get into it anymore. So we need to see, but I'm still expect another drop either way, because after a first, even if this year becomes an impulse, you would get an ABC down. So you would get your first wave. If let's say we, we call this here our first wave to the upside, then you would get a correction down anyway at some point here, which then could be used for more entries. That is what I'm uh, waiting for primarily because this would be another significant dip um, where, yeah, where we could enter once more in my opinion. So, but uh, this, this will be a very important level here between 3,900 and yeah, let's call it 3,900 and 4,630. So hopefully you liked the update about Ethereum. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.